Hello, hello again. Hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, from the Blu-ray and the Golden Ray of the Golden Sun, which is um, our term for the New Earth people who have New Earth connections. And that's a lot of you because you actually came here, you were born here for that. I have several things that I want to talk to you about today. And we're coming into uh, the time now where these energies that were really intense for March. And I know a lot of people, myself included, that March was, uh, it was really intense. It was like being in that uh, spin cycle at the end of washing your laundry. A lot of things were coming out. A lot of things were getting connected. You were rolling around in the waves. Um, some of things seemed beyond your control. And we're not done yet. So several of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today's video, today is April 2nd, and I wish to talk to you specifically about uh, this time period that's coming up. Uh, the April 4th full moon and lunar eclipse. And this is uh, the third part of a tetrad of eclipses and also um, the it will be solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. There's another one in September. Okay, but um, the energetics of this do uh, are doing something. I mean, to put it plain and simple, the energetics are doing something. And a lot of it has been preparation for people. And so what are you doing? You are integrating everything and you're connecting it all the way back to source love for you and your twin flame in these bodies. And a lot of you have known this. You felt it. You felt the connection. You felt parts of yourself meld on the inside, come together, a series of mini merges. For a lot of you, it's been going on for several years. You are actually integrating all of the places in your cosmic body all the way back to source. And yes, you have a cosmic body. These are a part of you. There's your subtle bodies and there's your outer bodies. And they're all anchored by your human body. So the emotional and the mental bodies of everybody are still clearing, cleaning. Be very cautious with other people because many other people are going to find that um, their emotions are spilling out still right in front of you. Be cautious who you're with and who, you're, who you are uh, associating with, even who you're living with. Sometimes uh, people are feeling particularly stuck or even like they're stuck in prison. And this is not an easy thing right now because um, for some of you, you are... Uh, twin flames and you're you're on this path and other people they're they're popping open they're exploding and that's not an easy thing you must be able to hold the high heart space with your twin and be able to make decisions from your union and there's a reason for that connecting yourself with your union at the higher level whether you call it your love bubble your elevated state of being it is your union and it is where you are merged at the levels above here and for some of you it's really close to this level it's not it may not be the physical level where you live it is actually the um, part of you where you've been merging and where you're elevating to and there's several other things to know about this. Um, you need to continue moving. You need to continue to strengthen your higher connections. You need to be able to make the decisions of what you're doing this year. This year is its decision time. And for a lot of you, you've made those decisions several years ago. I talked to a lot of people and some people have literally been waiting 35 years. I've had the pleasure of speaking to people who met their twin as a child, 7 years old, 11 years old. They met their twin when they were 30 and they're now a 70 year old woman. So they've been waiting for 30 years or 40 years if they started in childhood. A lot of people uh, have known what their course is and their life direction, but they had to wait a long time to come 
exactly into these specific energies. So this is it. This is the part that we're in where the divine part of you is starting to propel this. And you are in, yes, you're in the part of the divine will, the earth's ascension. And by the summer solstice, many of you, if you are illumined Blu-ray twin flames, will physically be together. You have to. Um, it's the way of it because you will have to physically merge your bodies together. So this, these energies are additionally preparing you for the summer solstice in June of this year. You have to merge together your five bodies, your 13 chakras, 13 or more chakras. And this is um, going to uh, be for your connections for the fifth through the ninth dimensions. Beyond that, the ninth through the twelfth, and some people are aware that maybe they have a connection or foothold. But overall, for the people who are the illumined Blu-ray twin flames, this is, this is going to be your get up and go day. So if you are illumined Blu-ray twin flames who have stood firm, you should be physically encountering your twin flame and physically merging um, first the 5th through the ninth by the solstice and then the ninth through the 12th back to source down the line a bit later in the year. So you do want to make your decisions to be um, staying steady, being celibate, if, you, if you've been alone and isolated, believe me, this will serve you well. It doesn't seem that way because from a human perspective, those types of things just don't seem that way. They really don't. And um, I'm flipping to my notes here because I, I want to let you know that um, I had to take several notes on this. Okay, This whole process is taking a lot out of people. It really is. And there's a lot being released. There's a lot that needed to be released so that you could do it. And that's, what's, that's what you've been waiting for. This is why the time has seemed elongated. It's so that everything could uh, be ready for this time because this is very important. Blu-ray twin flames have been expected. They've been prototyping the new light body so that it can be gifted. They have been setting up grid areas. They've been setting up the new... Um, flower of life grid not only here but back to all those places that are such favorite places for some of you so for some of you if you uh, identify as being a Palladian I'm a Palladian I am I'm most recently from the Pallades but I have had my connection to some other places and you know at one time I wanted to say send more Palladians everyone needs healing well guess what you're here we're here we're here We've been expected, we've been expected to do our part. And this is the time we're coming into, the um, doing by being and getting everything out of the way ahead of time so that for the majority of people, this is effortless. And I understand there are people physically separated. You've got immigration issues, divorce issues, marital issues. You've got different things going on. It's going to be those people who have stood firm. And at one time I did uh, talk about this and I alluded to the sexual double standard. What I was finding that people were, who were standing firm were all of a sudden meeting a soulmate who just felt lovely. And, you know, whether or not you engage with that person, that was a personal decision. And some, of, some people did, some people didn't. But then... In some ways, it amounted to at least not one of you holding steady. Neither one of you were holding steady. So I'm talking about the people who were standing firm and holding steady. Um, as people are cleaning and clearing out their emotional and mental bodies, be very cautious with who you are near. If you feel affected by others, you have to continue with your high heart connections with your twin flame. Not with the person you're with. And I have to say this. I know a lot of people have kids. 
You're not continuing your connections with your kids. You may have to continually set the children in their appropriate place, energetically speaking. You still take care of those kids. You take the best care of them that you can. And you expect that um, they are your responsibility at least till they're legal adults. You have to be able to make decisions through your union, not from your head, not from what your twin flame may be expressing and saying to you. You can't go by that. You're the ones here who are anchoring your soul. And this is a difficult thing. This is what makes this different than what a lot of people remember. It makes it different than what people will say where they've been able to separate their spiritual side from their everyday life. You're bringing the spirit into matter and then there is no more separation. We are bringing the spirit, we're bringing the heart, we're bringing the love back into all dealings, dealings with other people, education, health care. A lot of you have been butting your heads again against that. You've been saying, but, but the greater world doesn't get us. We're angelics. We just want to get out of here. Well, believe it or not, your twin flame is the only person here who has your ticket out. If you have not met that person, but you're aware that they exist, hold steady. If you have met that person and that person just doesn't really seem, you know, like they are, um, this is not a head thing. This is your soul. This is a soul thing. And you're in the part now where elevating yourself to those other dimensions that you really, really have been wishing, wanting, um, having a glimpse of, knowing that you touched foot in there and you want to get back there, it's, it's coming into not just a possibility. We are talking, this is your destiny. This is you being the love because the love that you are really, it's not been easy for it to exist in a third density environment. So the next one is set for September after the summer solstice. Please continue connecting everything within you. A um, couple other points to make that I want to make sure that I make for you, and this is particularly for Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flames. You're aligning everything together from the fifth through the ninth through, through these dimensions. Okay. Um, at the solstice, your union should be able to uh, connect, hold all the way to source love, and you will both be cleared and you'll be able to achieve your elevated state. Okay? And the real key is to be able to hold it here because many of you, you're not evaporating going to the fifth dimension and that's it. Okay? Many of you are going to continue on here, and a lot of you have agreements that you will continue to do things here. It might be for five more years. It might be for ten more years. And the people who will do best at it are the people who have sufficient time management, life management. They're disciplined. They've managed to scale down. They've mended their fences. If these are things that you have not attended to, please get on it because there, there are subsequent waves of this. Nobody is excluded. If you're feeling excluded, it's only because you're excluding yourself. Nobody is excluded. We, we planned this. We came here. We're bringing gifts. We're gifting each other. We're setting things right. And we're making things proper. Um, we're putting things back in a state of love. And the entire universe wants this. I mean, unlike on Earth, where it seems like things are against you, and again, catch your thoughts, because the negativity that's out there, and we just had April Fool's Day here in the United States, the level of hoaxes and playing tricks on each other, and really when it digresses into meanness, meanness, anger, biting, hurtful things, these are the things that leave these dense pockets here that people bump into. Now... Um, a couple other things I'm going to say is that you have to be able to hold your fifth dimensional uh, consciousness here at this level and your divine uh, love and union and not be pulled back into 3D dense stuff. So 
So here is an example. Okay, I've used this before. You're you're elevating and you're pulling source love all the way to you at the earth, and you've got your grid. You've got your grid of life, and you're spreading that love all over the planet simply by being together, and you connect. You pull it through, and it emanates through your heart. Now, if you are looking for the how do I do this, what do I do, um, what kind of things do, you know, I, I'm not getting it because my twin has blocked me, or we don't communicate, or it's really digressed here. I'm, I've said this before, it's through the heart. Okay, now I want to just let you know a couple of things also. Please know that this intensity, these, um, this really strong energy we had in March, and it's going to get stronger as we move forward here. And bringing the love in, uh, some of you by now, you know what love does. It closes doors, it opens doors, it changes situations. It is intended to elevate the mind and the mood here, to uh, reconnect things to the brand new and the proper places. However, short of that, people are still, you're in a tricky spot here because people are still getting angry. Their emotions are still coming out. Their memories, those things that have happened. And I have crystal clear memories, um, most of which have been archived and I relegated there, but of things that have happened. And, you know, it's, it's not for us anymore. We're doing things differently. We're doing things so that some of those things that did happen to you, to me, to your twin flame, they don't happen ever again. So um, please know that while you might feel clear and you might have, and I encourage you, have a daily practice of elevating your state, no matter what you do, every single day. And know that some of what you're experiencing, you are not crazy. You're experiencing a lot of this prior to other people. You're not crazy. They are not having, they're not able yet to have the same experience as you will. And you are unique in all of creation. You're beautiful. You are precious. And that preciousness the universe wants you back. They want you to visit the Pallades. They want you to visit Andromeda. They want you to visit Venus or Nibiru or any of the places, any place where trauma went down. And perhaps it was a lovely planet before something happened. Just like Earth, a beautiful planet, but in certain areas of it, things have happened. And would you go visit it right now? No, no, you wouldn't. Please um, know that some of it requires you to hunker down and, and, you know, be as safe as you possibly can. Fully trusting in the process. This is a process. You are not going to accelerate it here from your human level. Despite however magnificent you are, despite the master that you are, and many of you of the first wave, the first, second, and third waves, you're here because you are masters. You've mastered certain paradigms. These are the color race that you hold. So um, the mental and emotional hangovers that people are having, don't buy into it. Don't fall for it. Don't give in to the pettiness, the meanness, the um, sadness, the grief. You're still going to feel it. And I want to make a special note here about men, okay? A lot of people, their twin flame is a man. Or if you're a man watching this, you know this. Okay? You are important. And your experiences are going to be a little different than uh, your female counterparts. And females, your man is going to have some different experiences. You're literally coming from two different places. Okay? Patience, kindness, do not give in to petty stuff allow fresh starts, give each other the benefit of the doubt. This is a really important time. Give your kids the benefit of the doubt. Cut people some slack. Give them a wide berth. You need the space. You're the one bringing in the immensity of this. And so you've got your foothold. For a lot of you, you got your foothold to the other places. You have, you know, 
a foot in a couple worlds here. And this is tricky. This is not for the faint of heart. But really, pat yourself on the back. Applaud yourself because you're here. You're still standing. The emotional um, hangovers that people will have, yes, it may feel like despair. It may feel like false energy. It may feel um, low somehow, like you're, you're passing through things. You're going to get distortion. You're going to get static, okay? If you don't know what to do, and I'm going to say this because it's good stuff. I, I would be a fool if I didn't promote my own things. But my webinar specifically addresses this. These, these types of things. How do you do it? Okay, and it's going to be a how-to for right now. If you feel to seek help, get the help. Get any help that you need. Okay, but um, the main important thing that I want to let you know is that the help is here. We're here. We've arrived. We're getting ready to elevate things. And um, a couple other things that I do want to say that uh, bear uh, repeating. For some of you who may not know uh, some of what's going on, maybe you're newly awakened, your bodies are experiencing some things. I did videos last year. They all kind of build on each other. They're somewhat of a primer for some things that are ha actually happening this year. More and more people are experiencing this or awakening. Please do not become blasé about your own awakening and your own ascension here. I know a lot of people they feel like they've hit this plateau and no. No. You're 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 just setting down right when we're going to get into the good part here. And so I want to encourage a lot of you, you know, hang steady here. Um in a lot of ways, you are the eye in the calm of the storm here. You are those people who've, like, you've withstood planetary cataclysms and you can't stand still when someone, you know, is unfriendly or something or, or takes you off of Facebook. This is, these are, these are the petty day in and day out things that I'm talking about. You're perfectly capable of putting on your cape and going to the rescue, and a lot of you have. You have. You're here as part of the first responders. On the other hand, it's taking day in, day out, your spiritual state of being, your emotional state of being, your mental state of being. That is what it's taking here. And so, you know, whenever you are, you know, you really need to assess and assess yourself daily. Tune into your twin flame. They need you. They may be having some things, and you're the only person in the universe who can help them from within. So thanks so much for listening. I wish everyone who's celebrating a holiday this weekend to have a happy holiday, happy, healthy, um, whether it's Passover, Easter. I know there's several other holidays. I, I don't know all of them. Um, Treat yourself well. Treat yourself with kindness and patience and allow, receive, because there is a lot more. And this, this waving energy, it's sloshing back and forth between you and your twin and you're coming closer and closer. So put yourself in the state of love. Enjoy what's here while you can because it's continually on the move. And... Everything that, that you've loved once is going to be yours again. Thank you. Bye now.